Tired of looking at all the awesome Grand Archive cards on the internet? Wish there was somewhere you can play with people as excited as you? Well, stop being a sad Sylvie and start being a smiling Xander because Treasure Horde Games in the Chicagoland area has got you covered with their first print and play tournament. What's going on? I'm Vinny B. I'm Bob. And this is Dead On Board Gaming, and today we're going to talk about the Heroes of Grand Archive. Um, there's a cool mechanic with it where your heroes actually level up throughout the game. You start with an element. We're not going to get into the elements as of right now, but there are three of them. It's fire, wind, water, and um, there's a fourth one that's normal. And at the moment, I can't recall the name of it, but again, we're not going to get into that, so not a big deal. Uh, we're going to start with Lorraine, and we're going to start with Wandering Warrior. And uh, I'll, let, I'll let you start off with this if you want to read the card, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Well, I do actually want to start off with the spirits. You do want to start with the spirits? I noticed a, yes, I noticed a very important thing that I didn't notice before. Okay. When we were talking about this prior. All right. Let's any see. hero can be any starting element. Yes. I did not realize that before. Oh, I thought we've talked about that multiple times. Like, this is, this is how you construct your deck. You get to choose your element, then your hero. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you knew that. Oh, I, I thought that Rye was just fire. and Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so okay. Like, yeah, the combinations of it. Like, oh. we were talking about the combinations of that, and I'm like, oh, well, right now it looks like the only thing that's actually locked in is the level three. Other than that, anything can be anything. Anything like, can be I anything. I didn't realize that before. Yeah, that's the cool, oh. that's the cool thing about the deck construction of this of this game. And I thought you knew because remember I was bringing up that uh, how I thought in Flesh and Blood you were going to be able to get an equipment that gave you talents. That's basically yeah. what this is. You're like, I'm going to be a fire wizard, a fire warrior, a water assassin. And you get to make those decisions. Yeah, I guess I be, I never really got, a, got around to looking through every card. I never got... And now that I'm looking through it, I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, this is... Oh, like, man. <laughs> it's exactly what we were talking... Like, what I talked about last week, where... Like, with four heroes, they made, like, nine or ten different deck combinations. Or, right. Actually, way more than that. But... Yeah, it's actually one of their uh, pitching points, is that it's... Well, the way they explain it, I believe, is the way they put it, is endless deck construction possibilities, which down the line when they add because I'm I'm assuming we're gonna get lightning earth and uh probably something else down the line. Ev eventually this will get the the deck building will get ultra deep. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Because no matter what you move forward, every prior hero is gonna be able to use stuff. Yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Yeah, because, again, like, water just unlocks the water cards in your deck. And then Crux or Arcane unlocks those cards in your deck. And then everything else is kind of like an in-between card. So it's like, yeah, like, it, it, it's, it's a cool system. Well, All right, well, then let's move on to Lorraine now. Okay. Sorry, I misplaced something. No worries. Oh, man. But yeah, I did not realize that until I started going through this list. Dude, that's like, so oh. funny because we've had, like, deep conversations about it. And I thought we were, <laughs> I thought we were talking about the same thing. And apparently we weren't. <laughs> I thought we were speculating. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, no. I I knew that you got to choose, which which again I thought was the coolest thing. The only the only reason you probably thought that is because we've only played the uh print and play decks and they've never changed. Like Lorraine was always a wind warrior and yeah. Rai was always a fire mage, but those are just the starter decks. Like even the starter deck we get is gonna be those exact decks. 
So like we've played the starter decks that we're going to get. But once you want, once once we start unlocking deck building, it change it changes everything. Oh, damn! You all right over there? Yeah. Okay, just checking. Just checking. Um, whenever you're ready. All right. Lorraine, Wandering Warrior. When she enters play, she materializes a weapon card with a memory cost of zero uh, from the material deck. So, she's sweet. She comes in, she gives you a second play during your materialize phase, essentially. Uh, it limits you to a zero, but still, like, the double play on her first level up is great. Right, yeah, getting her and a weapon is very good. Like from from your element to her and a weapon, I I, I agree. Very very strong. Um, a couple things is this is your level one. This is the start of your Lorraine hero. Um, there is only a level one for her at the moment. Um, and she also cost one memory which means that you can't play her to turn one. You have to play cards to have a memory to pay for her as the way the game operates. And then, real quick, one of the rules is that you have to pay for the cost of the weapon. Though it's supposed to be a zero, if there's an effect that modifies it, like say it says you know something costs one more to play you would have to pay that so if you don't have the memory you wouldn't be able to get that sword and that's a little rules reminder as of uh last year um another thing to note is the heroes will bump your health up that's why you count your health upwards instead of downwards in this game um all of the elements start at 15 and then the uh Heroes themselves will have a different increment in which they go up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. cannot wait until we're actually playing physical cards. Oh, playing dude, online is not the same as real cards. Of course not. Of course not. But it's, good, but it's cool to be able to do it. It's cool to be able to do it. Um, all right. So we'll jump in. We'll jump right into Blade Master which is Lorraine Blade Master level 2 cost 2 memory. And this is Lorraine lineage. And the lineage thing is the thing that I just learned the other day. I had I had to actually go in and ask some questions about this part. But lineage is the only way you're able to move from level 2 to level 3. And we'll we'll get to that in a minute when we get to a different hero. A uh, different warrior hero. That can be played on top of Lorraine, but it isn't Lorraine. And that and and uh, again, we'll talk about that then. But anyways, this is a Lorraine lineage. And on enter and until end of turn, Lorraine's attacks get plus two attack and gain on kill, draw a card. So as as much as you want to level up, this also gives you a twenty four life to add, add to that. But this feels like something you really want to like plan around what you have in your hand and stuff like that. Cause there's cards that are direct attacks and plus her swords are direct attacks. So if you plan your turn, right, you can attack two to three times. And if they have two to three things you can kill with those attacks, you can draw up to three cards on this. And it seems that, I mean, that seems super strong, right? Very. So I, I do think that's very cool. Um. Yeah, if you got anything to add to that, and then I'll go over this little rule piece that they do. I'm going to just go over whatever their rule updates are. Um, I know they're a year old, but you know this is a new game, and pe you know not everybody knows everything. We don't know everything. Far from it. Like I said, I just learned about the lineage thing two days ago. I just learned that the heroes could be any element. <laughs> See, and here we are. Here we are. <laughs> um, but anyways, do you have uh, anything to add about Lorraine Blademaster? I mean, 
Not really, other than, I mean, that power shift can be insane. I know I find Rai having two to three characters out. And yeah, you could really line Lorraine up to, sh like, shift the battle in a huge way. Because if you could draw three cards, more than likely you're outrunning whoever you're fighting. Yeah, especially, like, the way memory works. You slow, like, you, you get rid of your cards a little faster. It's weird. It, it seems like you have a lot of cards, and then all of a sudden you do you know, one big memory shift and now you're now you're down to like two cards and trying to come back a lot. So you'll notice like. The, a lot of your. Uh, material deck, a lot of the baubles and stuff like that literally just draw you a card and it's bring you back up. To a playable thing, because, again, the way the way the. um resource system works is you pitch cards for the cost. So if it costs three, you have to have the card plus three cards to put into your memory. And then if you buy a two memory, you only draw one card and one card. Now you've got two cards. So like a, a lot of the things that you add to your board are like sacrifice, draw a card, and it's literally just to kind of bring you back up because I, th I feel like it's really easy to run out of cards. And be stuck to not do anything for two to three turns. Uh, besides attack with what you have. Which I mean happens in every game. That's not a bad thing. But I like that they have this re-catch up mechanic. When you decide to you know overspend. Yeah. Well with Lorraine though. Like she's built to. She's built for that. Like her, her deck's built around just burning through the cards and getting everything out there and just getting in your face so so her getting to draw cards in addition is just crazy well, right and, and that's kind of my point though is you know you uh like she needs a draw mechanic and then not doesn't need it i guess you're right but her level two is to catch her back up on cards like you're saying basically yeah is you know i mean if you can kill two things even one thing even if you just get to play this kill one thing draw a card it's still a pretty good action through a turn right yeah considering that in most cases it doesn't cost for a card to attack so she's just swinging whatever sword she's got beside her for plus two attack right and likely that's going to kill most allies that we've encountered so far. So with the plus two, uh, I agree. Just, yeah. Like almost any of those zero cost swords plus yeah. two are going to kill most of the stooges that you put out there to block. Agreed. Agreed. The and... knight that you played the other day, I think is the only one that wouldn't go over top of. Right. Yeah. That was a two, four, I believe. Yeah. And then I don't know if I mentioned it, but this bounces your health up from 22 to 24. Or was it? No, it's from 20 to 24. Yeah. And then the little rules thing on enter, Lorraine's attacks get the additional effects, not Lorraine herself. This means that Lorraine still needs a weapon or attack card in order to declare attacks because she does not have an attack stat. Yeah. Um. After a game, you get that. Like, um, but I could see where that uh, confusion would be if you come from things like magic or anything like that, because most things can attack. Um, or like flesh and blood, like all the attacks are directly from your hero. Um, yeah, or DBZ, right? Similar thing where it, you start off with like a a main character that that's your beast. Right, exactly. But like, um, again, like ink in the flesh and blood, you, you're going to play cards or use the weapon to use her. She doesn't actually attack. She has to have something else to make it happen. Uh, print and play. And uh, anything else and on the range? Well, uh, I was, no, not on that one. All right, we'll go to the Crux Knight in case you're wondering which way to go. 
All right, we are looking at lineage. Uh, so it must be leveled from Lorraine, and Lorraine's attacks get plus one for each Regala card in your banish zone. Um, so your early swords start off with like one or two durability, and they just like you throw a bunch of them into the into the grave. So by the time you get to the end, you're getting, you know, like a one or two attack sword. Right. And then you get to give it, you know, probably plus two or plus three by this point. Yeah, like exactly. You're hitting hard. And, and and also <laughs> an, uh, a thing to notice is it says her attack. So again, if you have an attack card, that's not a creature, like a, well, a character, we'll say. Um, she has actual cards that just attack, which is her attacking. So those get pumped by that also, which is super important to note, I guess. Um, also, this is a level three. It's going to cost three memory to cast her. You'll go from 24 to 28 health. And this also unlocks Crux, which is, um, as of right now, Lorraine's... Um, I, I guess second element. I don't know how to really put it. Um, so we're going to just call it second element because every hero on the third level unlocks this element, but uh, not Crux. Everybody has a different one. Like you'll notice that the mage does arcane, but until you're a level three, all your cards that say Crux on them can't be cast. So getting the level three, if you're planning on using the crux cards in your deck, is like instrumental. Like you can't do you can't do it without it. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So yeah, usually you pitch them early, and then you just hope that you don't lose them all. <laughs> right, unless on those random memory tugs. Yeah, I it's weird because like early in the game I, I like that we've been playing recently, I tend to get rid of them and then hope to draw them later. Just because they're just dead cards in your hand until you get to level three. So like holding them early, you know, sometimes that's kind of what I want to banish over, you know, playable cards for the next two to three turns, four turns, until I can get her to the point where Crux is, a, you know, a playable card, which is, again, another very cool mechanic where you have cards that, as your hero levels up, become usable that weren't usable before. I think that I think that's very cool and uh, cool, a, an awesome mechanic in general. I guess Rise just feels so much stronger. Like, his arcane stuff, that you really don't want to lose it, like... When you're holding that 11 damage card and you're pitching it over and over again, you really don't want to lose that guy. I mean, true, but it's not the so only with one. Lorraine, I don't feel like Crux. I feel like Lorraine usually wins, like, right as soon as she flips. Like, she's going to be, like, seven. Well, I, I feel like that's that matchup, though. Like, I feel like Lorraine is uh, racing Rye to the end game. And, yeah, I yeah. think this scout's going to be faster. Is this scout? I don't know. I don't, what's a scout? Xander starts off as Xander's first level is prepared scout. So, uh, well, yeah, we're not there. I I haven't even read Xander. I was waiting to get yeah. there. So, uh, I, yeah. So yeah. you're jumping ahead, and I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, I didn't. So now for one of the more interesting things. Ooh, actually, this is even more interesting than that. I didn't even notice this. But Lorraine doesn't have the weird level two that I meant to bring up. She actually has another level three. And this is Spirit Ruler. And again, this is going to jump you to 28. It's going to cost three. It's a level three. This is Lorraine lineage. So you have to level it from a level two Lorraine which you'll notice when we get to um, Rye and stuff, why that's important. Um, but on Enter, 
Choose a sword regalia card with memory cost one or less from your banishment and put it in onto the field. It enters the field with three additional durability counters on it. That's actually sick. Now, yeah. my other question is, because this is a level three, do you have to level up or do you get to level three to level three? Like, can I play both level threes? Like on top because they're both lineage, or does it have no. to tick up? It probably has to tick up. Has to. It it says previous level. Oh, it does say previous. Thank you. Okay, that actually fixes that all together. But no that's actually that. pretty. I, that's actually pretty strong. Because if you put out one of your better swords early, and then get rid of it, this just lets you get it back, and then. You know, depending on the sword, this can have up to six durability counters on it. And I think that's just yep. for, and that's just from the cards we know. And again, we haven't looked over this entire set. Maybe you have now, but I haven't looked over the entire set or anything. I've been slowly like I've been slow burning it to myself so I can concentrate on what I want to concentrate as we talk. And kind of move forward in the game. I, I want to get like a deep understanding of what we're talking about instead of just that overall thing. I do the same thing with magic and flesh and blood. I really don't like look at everything until I kind of dig deep. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I just got on about 15 minutes before you did. So I started looking at them. No, that's fair. Then I started building a deck. That's fair. But well, I, only, I got down to the end of the heroes. Yeah, right on. And again, that's that's what we wanted to talk about today. So that's actually perfect. Um, all right, we'll skip through that. And that is all of the Lorraine.